Don't even play with me. Get the whole... <laughs> oh, oh my god, I got a KO from the top. Oh, what a hit! Hello everybody and welcome to week 19 of WWE 2K24 My GM Mode Season 2 here on the Backbreaker Gaming YouTube channel. Uh, we are firing up here. For those that are watching on Twitch, we are doing two back-to-back -back weeks here uh, due to uh, me be not being available for Collision coming up for our next scheduled taping. So uh, we're going to get two in tonight. But tonight we are setting up for the PLE coming up next week with uh, Survivor Series, which the fourth PLE, the one but going into WrestleMania, being Survivor Series just seems a little weird to me. That's all. But, uh, yeah, last week we were there. We got a hell of a bonus for the number of fans we got, but we're still losing behind Raw right now. So we're going to have to do something to get some more fans in. I think they might have a bigger arena than us, but we'll see how things go. We got some, we got some matches ready to go. We got some feuds ready to go. So let's uh, see what we can do here. Let's get into it. So first thing I notice right now is we do have a roster upgrade to do. We got two of them. Two of them. I love it. Let's go check out Dom first. So we either get basic stamina or basic popularity. I think everybody hates him nicely already. So let's do the basic stamina. And for Dragonov, this is the big one for me. So we get either good cruiser or bruiser. I think we're gonna go bruiser here because I don't have any face giants and I don't think I'll be booking any anytime soon. So yeah, I think let's go bruiser. Okay, so those are out of the way. So let's see what we have to do. Is there any kind of notes we got to do? Dom cannot fight stacks next week, which is perfect for me because, well, I'm just going to put it here. We can move it around if we need to here. Let's get Dom. Uh, let's go pick up Dom. Where are you? There you are. We're... Definitely going to have these two fight it out to get that level four going. Because either way, if Stax isn't available, I could use... I could use the Clint rivalry to finish that feud off with Clint if he's... Basically, Clint's contract's due at the end of uh, the next show. Same with Argus, our IC champion. So we're going to have to see how that goes here. and Use the false count anywhere there. Works for me. That way we get our uh, extra little boost here. Uh, what else do we want to do here? I just want to look over these rivalries and see where we can get them gained up here. We could get a... I got a crazy one for you, chat. Let's let's get nuts. We're going to get Cora Jade. We're going to get Blair. We're going to get Ivy. We're going to get Becky. All four. Let's get them in here. We got two level two rivalries. We can see maybe we could grow up to level threes. We need to start building up some rivalries going forward here. So any specialties? How's the stamina here? 85, 85, 54, 57. Let's get nuts. 
Not going to put the title on the line here because I want to see if we can get Blair and that there. So, uh, Dragonov Rollins, I might wait. This might be the feud we have to wait till Mania for because right now, currently, Rollins and Dragonov are both specialists, and that's still going to be a nasty feud. You know what? We'll try it. We'll try it again. Let's throw a stipulation on there. It's 75 grand. I don't want to waste that right now. Let's just do a tables right now. We can move the matches around as we have to right now, but... What I'd actually like to do right now is see if we could start. Let's see if we can start a tag team feud. Uh, yeah, I got... Uh, I got Dom involved already, right? We got Dom in this match, so I can't do more than one, right? So... Just looking over this, what I might actually do... I could carry this feud over to Mania. Think I'm going to try it this way. We do Gunther versus Post. But I'm going to get an interference spot here with Trent. Once again, trying to go after Gunther. I want to see if I can get this feud to a level four. That would be fun to watch live, to be honest. Yeah, I think we're going to put the titles on the line here. And then this one here, we got three that'll work well together. I think this is going to be good for us here. Okay. I want to see if I could try to push this feud to a four. I would like to get rid of this feud at the uh, PLE, so. Let's get a charity promo going. Oh, we're going to do a conversion promo. That's right. All right, so what we'll do is keep Scarlet in everybody's wishes. She could do a charity promo and then... Now, do I want to do Rollins or do I want to do Dragunov? If I do Rollins, he'll move. That's what I was thinking. 
Bruiser specialist payoff time. Yeah, that's what I'm looking for here. And if I put Rollins at a specialist. Let me take a look here what I got for. No, no, I gave him the ability to flip. I didn't actually flip him. Uh, what you have to do is. Once you hit level 15 as a character, like I'll show you here. Let's pull up. Let's pull up Gunther here. So as you get these perks, level 15 gives you a bonus class. Technically, I could do one of these class change promos and actually flip Gunther from a giant to a bruiser. Rather than... Uh, So we can change the feuds that way, right? So I'm just looking to see what we have for heals here. We got a cruiser. We got a bruiser. Like we got a lot of bruisers. Don't have much for fighters. I don't think that's going to help anybody really right now. Hmm. Let's get somebody else in here for this. See, like either one of these, I could move to a bruiser, but I got... S I have to see what I have going forward here before I can... In terms of stamina, who do I have here that's got lots? Ilya's the next one. All right. Now let's move this to a triple threat. Balls count anywhere match. Let's get Rollins working here. Try and maybe move this up a little bit. I think this is where we go here for this. We got a lot of people working. I'm looking to get this feud to a level four so we can finish that off. And this could actually be a very good storyline here because if, if the challengers end up winning the championship, then Jane can come out and say, look, you just lost one title. Now I'm going to break you next week in a cage. That could be a hell of a story here. So... I think we got this covered. Let's go uh, take a look here at what we could. 49,000 for that. That is... Ugh. How many... You know what? I'm going to do this. That's a cheap enough card. Now let's use it on I think it was Valhalla was the one that had the uh... yeah Valhalla is the one that has a little bit of stamina problems here we could go nuts But tables is a specialty, so we we can leave it for that now. We'll save the backstage brawl for later. Because I know we're definitely doing a backstage brawl. We're doing a coffin match. All that stuff's coming down to Mania. I'll guarantee you right now. Just going to use the pre-match physio to help out there. 
Um, spa, I got a spa one and a spa three. Is there anybody that could really, oh. All stacks, you're not doing anything today anyway, so you've been an MVP, let's, let's treat you as such. All right, so, so we will use our uh, Birth of Legends uh, card once we're done the trades after Survivor Series, we'll do that in week 21. Because what it does, it just instantly adds six popularity to six random stars. I don't want to use this card now and have three of them either walk out or be traded. So once that's all done, we will uh, do it that way there. So other than that, we got three assets. So we need four assets and 200,000 for the social media ads. That'll unlock special guest referee for us and get us an extra little network payout. Money isn't the thing I'm worried about, though. It's... I'd love to... If I can hold out and get... We could really suck for the next five weeks. We're, that's next season's goal right now, is to get there. I think we got to get the stadiums if we can here, so... I think this is going to lock it up. Yeah, I think we got her here. All right, time to see what everybody else did this week. Honky Tonk Man and MVP teaming up to take on Sheamus and Tyler Bate. One, two, that's it. Bring it. Honky Tonk Man and MVP defeat the champs. Two and a half stars, okay. Rhonda once again puts herself over to nothing. Isla Dawn, Indy Hartwell, normal one on one. This is probably a two star match. Yep, just to keep the booking right. Damien puts himself over, good. Liv Morgan, Jody Garcia, Vicky McLeod. All right, so three categories that work well. Rivalries. One, two, that's it. Ring the bell. Once again, two-star match because the characters suck. So now you're... We could have the Honky Talk Man as the ECW champion by the time we're done next week. And for the TV title, we got Josh Briggs, Logan Paul. Please no, please no, please no, please no. Not impressed. Logan Paul should not be a champion in ECW. Eddie Guerrero and Johnny Gargano taking on Elton Prince and Finn Balor. And the tag champs are not putting the titles up. Guerrero and Gargano win. Three-star match. No rivalry. That sucks. Orton calls out Tim Burr, so that's their feud. Mid-card rivalry. All right. Ta another tag team match. Booker T and Adrian Buck taking on Karrion Cross and Omos. One, two, that's three. Let me hear the bell. Cross and Omos. Now they got a tag team rivalry for... All right, well, they're getting some rivalries at least. You idiot. McIntyre getting a zero increase in po popularity. That just seems so wrong for this game. Pierce and Grog, all right. Just, just finish this already. Jesus. This feud's been going on forever. So that main event better be absolutely freaking outstanding or you're in trouble, buddy. Tim Burr getting an extra three grand for charity. Main event title match. China versus Tiff. Tiff has no stamina. She holds all the titles. Her partner's out injured. The hell is Bischoff booking here? 
China is your new champ. Tiffany's out for three weeks with an injury. Their tag titles are toast. Wow. Oh, sorry, I forgot. Damn, that sucks. All right, our truth and Champa versus Rooted Breaker. Once again, same as last week. Three stars. Okay. Sammy Vortex working her way to get that title. Danielle Wallace versus Charlotte Flair. One, two. That's it. Ring the bell. Charlotte Flair wins once again. Two star. And a rivalry. <laughs> Stardust. 3750? Yeah, average. Shayna Baszler and Carmella. All right, let's see how that goes. Two. Ring the bell. Baszler. Three star match, okay. This is going to be a level four feud. This is rough. Natalia Meachin versus Bailey and Molly Holly. No titles on the line because I think one of the champs is injured. One, two, it's over. Ring it. Three stars. Hey, Jared, how you doing tonight, sir? As we get over to SmackDown here. So Valhalla and Ruthless made a hell of a team, apparently, to start off their quest here. Uh, Valhalla made the request to make these two a tag team. Let's put them in a title match, throw a table in there, too, and see how things go. So going great. Good to hear. Let's get into this one here. Once again, everybody, thank you for stopping by. I truly do appreciate it. As we're in Pittsburgh, PA for the week before Survivor Series. The following contest is a tag team tables match. It is for the WWE Women's Tag Team. Championship! Introducing the challengers. First, from the Bronx, New York, Pretty Ruthless. Yeah, it'll be fun to see this team work and see how it... We actually didn't get to watch that match because there was that run-in with uh, Becky, right? From uh, Blair Davenport. So this will be the first time we actually get to see Valhalla on stream here. I love the definition of this outfit. Just everything she has here. It would be great to see uh, Valhalla end up playing the tag titles here. I just want to see some new champs. It'll help us with the uh, bonuses and whatnot, so... Chemistry-wise, we were three-quarters of the way there. Well, I can see our mugshot for the... Uh, for the thumbnail for this week. That's for damn sure. If I get a chance to get Henley Michigan, one half of the women's tag team champions, If I can find a way to get Henley and Jane back uh, for next season, 
I'm probably going to flip Henley and see what we can do about a little more real-to-life scenario here. But it's nice to get Billy in for a decent price here, so we can keep her around for the end of the season. And even if we don't, she's great trade bait. And from Chinatown, New York, one half of the women's tag team champions, Billy Slugger. Because I know we are, we are going to have to look at changing a few, few pieces here just to get some balance out and. Sounds like the crowd does not want anything to do with uh, Billy. And once again, no bell. I really would appreciate if they would actually ring the bell the way they're supposed to. Sorry, Chad, had a couple things come up there. See B Billy going to work on Valhalla here. I'm actually shocked Valhalla's not wrestling with the hordes. This Fallon gets set over the top. So if, uh, if Ahala does get a week off here, we're going to uh, definitely get her a spa card because, well, I don't want to have to start doing pre-match physios all the time for her. Fallon with a great drop down there. One thing I will say, these matches, it is really chaotic. See, now get the table, bring it in. I just want one of these to be like a big show, uh, big show way the IC title from Cody Rhodes deal. try it but nobody's getting those tables set up yet there you go yeah that'll do it here we go Fallon setting up there we go champions retain please let's get a rivalry going here
the team up, Baron Finley and Billy Slugger. Works for me. Let's see if we get these feuds pushed up. I, I want to see if we get a feud out of this. S decent matchup, decent match. Very nice, but no feud. Actually, let's check the next screen. Because I'm sure the next screen will give us a better indication here. There it is. That's all I wanted to see. New rivalry. Always good. <sighs> we're killing a we're killing two feuds at the pay-per-view. I don't know which way we're gonna go here. So this one we're not gonna be able to watch. So Trent Shaw has been a running nightmare for Gunther here ever since joining for free. He's had basically walked in and said, Hey, give me a shot. I'll make it worth your while. So I said, hey, why not? Let's just throw him against Gunther and see what happens. He wins the freaking title. So Trent wins the title. Gunther's been pissed ever since. So now we're going to see if we get this rivalry to a level four and that will be our other cage match. One, two, that's three. Ring the bell. Gunther beats Post Malone. Horrible match, but the rivalry's level four. Perfect booking. Perfect booking for that. 3750 fans, so I'm glad we got those in. So we had the Book of Files Count Anywhere match for tonight, which is fine. We'll deal with it. Um, Dirty Dom didn't want to face Stacks in their ne his next match because he's been losing a lot. And, well... There's another rivalry I want to get to a level four here if we can get rid of it. We might have to hold out and stretch it out to Mania, but that's okay. We can do that. And well, Seth hasn't wrestled in a while, so let's get him in here. Literally, it's just because Seth hasn't been in here forever. And I don't want him to get miserable by not working more. Because your wrestlers will lose morale if they don't work matches. The following contest is a triple threat. Falls count anywhere match. Making his way to the ring, representing the Judgment Day from San Diego, California, weighing in at 200 pounds, Dirty Dominic Mysterio. Dom has got to be one of the slowest entrances in the world here. But this crowd is definitely booing the crap out of them all over the place. Uh, I'm sorry. I, I'm, we've been sitting here forever doing this. Now, Clint, his contract's up next week, so if I can get this to a level four, well, we'll have to see what kind of number he wants to sign. If it's a decent number, I'll keep him for the next five weeks because we got 
We'll blow off the tag team feud next week regardless. But if we can keep the singles feud going all the way to Mania. It's just built in. It's good. It's done. We're good to go. And all the matches at uh, Mania are going to be free for us because we got the million dollar card, right? We just have to find a way to get there. So yeah, we're going to have to find a way that uh, we need to get enough money to get that stadium. So once we get a stadium every single week, well, once again, like, like I was saying before, finishing second to Raw going into season, four, season three might not be the best, worst thing in the world here. Just because you get to keep an extra person as a permanent member of your roster. Because I think we'll be able to keep four in that case. So yeah, this is just to see if we can get the singles feud up to uh, a level four and also to get Dom off our back a little bit. I love how there's no miss between either one of these guys. It's so smooth. Like, it's funny how many people on this roster we actually aren't using at this point. McDougal going to work on Rollins. Would that be a stinker if, uh... SmackDown's the AEW WWE? At least this version is. I will tell you this, uh, SmackDown right now, like, that's why I'm like, uh, might be at SmackDown. I should be at SmackDown. Everybody wants me to go because it's like, we only get there once every, like we get them twice a year, maybe tops. And now we're just starting to get TV back here. But to me, I'm looking at the product and I'm like, what are we getting for the card? Because literally we're going to be done by 830 at night. Because if you didn't know, here in Alberta, SmackDown starts at 6 and goes till 8. So then, what, they start at 530 with the first match? I don't really care. I got the day off, but at the same time. I'm just looking forward to driving the LRT to the transit system here. Dri driving downtown because a bit of a nuisance at times, unless you have a parking pass.
Nice neck breaker by Seth here as we go along. Realistically, if I wanted to build that feud up, I, I might have uh, I might have put Dragonov as a run in here on uh, Rollins, but do we want to have two matches that we can't watch on one show? I don't think so for some entertainment purposes. These guys are just going balls to the wall here tonight. Buckle bomb. And Clint's like, no, 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 no. He, he's my prison dom. I do get a, I do get a kick that uh, Clint, specialty in. Uh, Clint's specialty match is the is the uh, cage match. I will have to see what the branded uh, PLE bonus is. For next week, because we're definitely going to have to have one specialty match in there. Of course, being the Survivor Series, you would assume it's an elimination match, but... There's the cover. Dom's not waking up. There he is. Now he's woken up. Ripcorn knee. Clint <laughs> What the hell are you doing, Clint? All over the place here tonight. In the LaBelle lock. Dom tapping? Nope. Seth just good old boot to the face. Snake eyes. Now, if it was Dobby, throw McDougal out of the ring and get a quick cover. Oh, clip with a quick cover now. Rollins only taking a one count. Wow. Rollins just get beaten to bits here. Dom smart. I don't know if Ron's a kick out of that. Drop the bottom out. Oh, and Clint's bleeding again. Seems like Clint McDougal is the John Moxley of uh, SmackDown here. Spine on the pine. Nice drop kick. Dom, you better follow up. It's your time. 
Get on the cover, Jesus. Frog Splash, he gonna get you one. You're too busy dawdling. And checks his pedigree. Cover. That's gonna be it. And Seth made Seth gets back on the winning streak, and Dom is still losing. Here is your winner, Seth And this is when you have Dragunov come in and uh, attack Rollins after the match. We are going to get that Dragunov Rollins feud over here. Perfect. Mysterio McDougal level four. That's a four star match. That is not good for us. That is not good for us. Let's hope that let's hope the finale works out. Dragonov gets us. Oh, we lost six popularity. Holy crap. For 10 grand. All right. Time for a mine event of the evening. An Extreme Rules match, Fatal 4-Way. No title on the line, but everybody hates each other. I'm hoping that's enough to get this match over. Let's see how it goes. So currently right the following oh. contest is a fatal four-way extreme rules match making her way to the ring from Chicago, Illinois. Cora Jade. So Cora Jade has a feud with Ivy now right now. And Cora's had a feud with yeah. Becky for the better part of 2 months to start off this season so she's very familiar with both faces here and well Blair is just in the way And Blair ended up, uh, Blair's in a feud with Becky, uh, and interfered on Ivy's match last week, where Becky was there involved, so Ivy's a little pissed about that, so then once again, Cora Jade is just an unfavorable obstacle in the way here. Like I said, ultimately my goal in this match is to have two, two feuds get to a level three. And now I just want this to be a four and a half star match. Which won't happen because the title's on the line, not on the line. So it's not our best foot forward going into the PLE. But I will say the fact that we have two level four feuds going into it regardless of what's happening here is going to set us in a good direction. Because I believe our main event is going to be for the uh, SmackDown Tag Team Championships, the male version. 
with Stax and uh, Clint taking on Baron and Dom in the cage. Our opening contest will be Gunther versus Trent in a cage. And if we flip them either way, I don't care. First, last, whichever. This crowd's booing the hell out of her. I'd almost say if Cora gets the win here, and there might be from Dublin, Ireland, the WWE Women's Champion, Becky Lynch. I'd almost say there's more of an opportunity for Cora to get back into the title picture, but. I'm thinking we're probably going to have Blair and Becky as part of the mid card for next week. Cora and Ivy can be sort of set up either for Mania or we could take our sweet time with it and just let that feud simmer as we go. Once again, the two pairs that I want paired off are going at it right away. I love a good old fashioned back rake. Oh, Blair, you ran the wrong way. And over the top. Oh, Blair's got a sledgehammer. It's all about the game and how you play it. It's all about control and if you can take it. Blair at the running knee to the back of the head. And Cora's bringing the table out. Becky's got a trash can. Of course, trash can beats table every time. I'd like to do a wrestling flow chart on that. Well, I'm pretty sure Ivy's got some broken ribs now at this point. I love how the handle took out all three people there. Have the bottom fall out. Becky maintained body control here. Now she's got the sledge. That didn't last for long. So Becky heads to the outside along with Ivy and Blair. Oh, Blair takes a hard shot to the chest. Cora knows how to use that sledge rather well. Surprised it hasn't broken yet. Uh-oh. Everybody gets a sledge today. So the pinfall or submission must happen in the ring in this matchup. So.
A little meeting in the minds there. Cora and Becky working together? That's something you're not going to see every day. Inside out. Ivy said, don't think I forgot about you anytime soon here. And Becky with a kendo stick. Swing neck breaker. Oh, try to get a shot at on Blair, but had no... Once again, this is our main event here on week 19. Next week will be our Survivor Series PLE. Looks like our main event is going to be for the SmackDown Men's Tag Team Championships. Dominic Mysterio, Baron Corbin taking on the champs Stax Lorenzo and uh, his partner Clint McDougal. We're also going to have Trent Shaw, our WWE Champion, taking on Gunta. Depending on this match, we might also have Becky Lynch taking on Blair Davenport for the Women's Championship. Oh, and there's a chair. I don't think anybody wants to get back in the ring anytime soon here. Now we got a ladder. Oh, look out. Butterfly DDT. This could be it. But Becky says no to that. What a main event here. Oh, setting up. Looks like Becky wants that manhandle slam. Hits it. Gets the cover, but Blair's right there to take care of that. Stuck out with a victory there. Ivy now snapping off that hit since he's outside the ring. Blair with a running knee takes out Ivy. As Ivy hooks up that submission. She can't win it out there, but she can definitely lay out a lot of punishment. And Cora just laying out Becky shot after shot after shot. Ivy looking to finish this up. Uh oh. Seems nobody wants to get back in the ring. Falcon Arrow by Davenport. Backdrop driver Lynch on Davenport here. A judo style throw by Jade. Once again, back into that sleeper hold. Lynch watching the action too much here. Got caught. 
Davenport gets a backdrop driver of her own. Davenport just going nuts here. Throws Jade back into the rig. And Lynch gives her a drop kick as a receipt. Once again, Davenport too focused. Davenport some straight right hands into a northern light suplex. Knee to the chest. Shining wizard from Davenport. But too busy gloating after that. Lynch catches her. What a wheelbarrow. You can tell these ladies really don't like each other with the fact that they're going the way they are right now. Davenport's being smart about this right now. Whoa! Suicide dive out of nowhere there. Somebody's got to get back in the ring to finish this, so... Got her up, takes her down with a power with a power bomb here. Looks like Lynch has got Jade back in the ring. All right, Ivy's back in the ring now. We could have a finish here coming up. Kick to the face. Jay coming over, a quick cover. And Blair letting her get the two count, that's about it. Davenport's out. Oh, Ivy's breaking that cover up. Becky going after Ivy now. Taking her over the corner. Working over the arm. Oh, what we got here? Manhandle slam in the middle of the ring. Quick cover. Unfortunately, Cora Jade threw that chair right at her head and she got caught. Going up, big backsploder. Davenport with that trapped arm knee. Only gonna get a one count here. But can Ivy take advantage? Both ladies on the outside. There you go. There's a shot. Ivy had her shot, but just couldn't finish it off. Cora Jane gets caught in a power bomb once again. But Blair takes advantage of that drop kick to the back. Saito suplex. Yeah. 
Right on the ladder as well. Knockout shot on Lynch. Speed of knockout shots. Here comes Shade. Cover. Everyone's out. Oh my God. Cora Jade's going to win this. Cora Jade pulls the upset here. Here is your winner. Cora Jade. Cora Jade just pinned Ivy Nile. That should grow some rivalries. Wonder what kind of match it's gonna get. Nice. Level two to level three, Lynch to Davenport, so we might do this we might do this four way for the title next week. Davenport Lynch. That's the only food that grew? Damn it. Alright, well let's see the scores here. Poor finale. And that's because we had a four star and a three and a half star. Damn it. All right. Well, could have been a lot worse. But look at this four star, four star, three star. What we got here? Good booking, level four, level four, level ones. Level one, level one, level four, level two, but Stratton's out for three weeks. And ECW, level three, level four, level three. So they're ready for the PLE too, so let's go take our medicine here. 108. Oh, that's ECW, sorry. So we're getting 34,000 people and 450 grand. They got some cash to spend. ECW got a 116. 46,000 viewers. And 383 for a budget now. Raw got a 113. So 42,000 fans. And 355 in the bank. So they're building up pretty good too, so... We got a 107. And we're up to 435, so nothing to sneeze at at this point. No extra news. So we got another two, the moon card. We're gonna start using these cards here once we get to, once we get to week 21, we're gonna start burning through cards like crazy here. Ooh. We got the big spender done. Cool. So we got a veto champ. So technically we're still in first. But we are now 60,000 fans away from Raw. ECW, we gotten a little bit of a breakout here to uh, 30,000 fans difference and once again Bischoff's doing Bischoff things so that's always great Orton and China as their champions Stardust and Lita as champions we have Trent Shaw and Becky Lynch that's uh, I don't know about you guys but in terms of champions Sheamus is a pretty good one for ECW but for what we got, Trent looks like an absolute star. So, all right. As per tradition here, we do have to go forward into the PLE, see where we're at, and uh, yeah, uh, get ready for what's going to be happening here coming up next week at Survivor Series. So, let's go take a look. Valhalla, all right, what do you got? 71 grand. You know what? You guys are a hell of a team. You did win the titles. I gave you your shot. 
Not a goddamn chance in the world I'm keeping you for that. All right, Argus, how much are you going to ask for? Frick! Frick, 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 frick! Shiloh Bomb! He is a champion right now. Forty-five. Hmm. You know what? He's a giant. We get. We had a lot of cruisers. Yeah, I think we'll keep him. Whatever my next match is, I want to win. I don't really care what you want. Play a match of Fallon. Three weeks. All right. You know what? Fine, we'll do it within three weeks. One last man standing match this week. All right, well. We're definitely going to get the PLE bonus for this. So let me just, let me just get this out of the way because we know we're going to be doing this next week anyway. We had enough to cover the commercial ads, so that next week we could start worrying about stuff like that. I want to wonder, chat, what is the... Tables matches the PLE bonus, so we're laughing. We're absolutely laughing right now. So we just have to make sure we have one tables match in this show. And what's the other stipulation we have? One last man standing match. So we got five matches. This is going to be a cage. This is going to be a cage. We got a last man standing. We got a tables match. And we'll pick another stipulation. It's not going to be that hard to book this card. So roster-wise, we're pretty much even. Finally got some Maya's back if we want her. Don't know if we really want her. Rangvold, Rangvold and Valhalla would be a hell of a tag team to get there. but And then power cards, we still got. That would be that would be delicate. But you know what? We'll we'll worry about that next week. Let's bring it back here to a uh, chat screen here. Those on Twitch, hang around. We're going to send you guys off here in just a moment. But for those on YouTube, please make sure you give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Comment on your base, your favorite match or what you want to see here come up. Or just hit a couple emojis, you know, for the engagement part of it. But once again, everybody, thank you for checking things out here. And remember, be part of the solution, but don't be part of the problem. And we'll see you all here next time on the Backbreaker Gaming YouTube channel. Take care, everybody.